if you have a problem where it shows that you have no speaker or headphone plugged in and suddenly your audio is not there anymore, this is what you need to do to try to fix it. This might not work, but it might. The way to solve this problem with losing your audio after you install a video card, I installed a uh, AMD card, but a lot of people install a video card on their PCs and all of a sudden they lose their audio and they get a red X on the speaker and it says that they can, uh, that they don't have speakers connected or they don't have a headphone connected. And you try to uh, look at your settings and you see that your IDH um, speaker thing uh, should be in the list and your speakers don't exist. The integrated audio suddenly doesn't work anymore. It's not there and no matter what you try to do to install audio, you can't make it work. Well, how do you do it? You go into your BIOS. This is the simplest way to do it. You're not going to find this on the internet, but this is how you do it. You go into your BIOS, you go across, you're going to arrow, you're going to use your arrow keys, you're going to go across to advanced, and we're going to scroll down, which means we're going to use the down arrow on the keyboard. We're going to go to device options. If this helps you out, please do a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe. Go to my uh, channel page, click on the support button, and maybe put a few bucks in there for some tech support here, because you're not going to find this anywhere else. Click the Enter key, press the Enter key for device options. And what do we have here? Integrated audio. Disabled. Why was that disabled? It was disabled when... See, the internal speaker, all that stuff is enabled, but the integrated audio was disabled when the video card was installed. Why? Who knows? It makes no sense at all. This never should have happened. So you're going to take your arrow key, and you're going to arrow down to integrated audio, which says disabled. And then how do we change that? Do we uh, right arrow? Enabled. OK, so it's enabled. Our integrated audio is enabled. Suddenly, it should work now. It says down at the bottom, F10, accept. So we're going to press F10 to accept it. And now what do we have over here? We look down at the bottom. I guess we're done. I'm going to click the escape key. Let's see what options we get. Escape. It says save changes and exit. So you arrow down on the keyboard, save changes and exit, and then I'm going to click the enter key on the keyboard. Are you sure you want to do this? F10 for yes. And hopefully this is going to give us the audio back that was lost after the video card was installed. This will take you hours and hours and hours of searching on the internet to try to fix, and no matter what you do, you will not find a fix, because this is the only way to fix it. Unbelievable, I know, but this is the way to fix it. And what do we have here? That mark is gone. That little red mark is gone. The speaker is 24%. So the speakers are working now. Now let's go up and look and see what happened here. Let me go over to... The control panel. In fact, instead of the control panel, I am going to go to the device manager and I'm going to go click on sounds. Let's look at sounds. High definition, so we get our high definition. And we didn't have uh, that there before. We only had one of these listed before. We didn't have both of these. So we know that something's changed now. Now let's go and look at something else. We are in the control panel. We're going to go to hardware and sound, and we're going to do manage audio devices. Look at that. Check that out. I think you saw my uh, video before, you know, at the beginning of the video, where we only had uh, the HDMI 2 not plugged in, but speakers was not there. And amazing, this simple fix that you cannot find on any of the websites is to just go over to the BIOS and enable the integrated audio. You don't have to go and look for drivers because when you look for a driver it's going to say the driver does not work, the driver is not made for this machine. This is how you fix it. This is worth about five thousand dollars in tech support to try to keep you sane. Please go to my channel page, click on the support button. Happy um, searching on the net and listening to your music and your sounds. This is how you fix the problem.
I don't know what is in the software that causes it to disable the integrated audio, but I think it might be a lot easier to just uh, not install that CD and let Windows Update find the driver for you, which it did immediately, and let it do the install. You're not going to have all that excess uh, driver stuff that came on the CD. You're going to have the driver installed from Windows Update. You're not going to have your sound problem that I just showed you. And everything should work. The system's rebooting using Windows Update driver not messing with the CD that came with the audio card, I mean with the video card. So let's see if there's any audio sound. If there is, there you go. Make sure your Windows Update is set to search for drivers. Mine wasn't. Don't use the CD that came with it. Reboot your machine. Let Windows Update do the driver install. You will not have to mess with the three hours of problems that I just had to deal with trying to fix this nightmare that ends up being a BIOS problem. That uh, the CD changes the BIOS and disables the audio. So hopefully this was a helpful video. I don't know how many people are going to watch it, but I'm going to post it anyway. And uh, there you go. The resolution's the way it should be. It installed the software the way it was supposed to. And three hours down the drain, but the video card works. I'm very unhappy with the uh, modification the CD does that causes problems that shouldn't even exist. But I have the good resolution that I need and my audio is back to normal and I am happy.